These are the steps required to create a room on the Adobe Connect server. Presuming you have a host account on the server, you can go to connect.asu.edu. Takes you here. You'll want to log in with your ASU Write ID and your password, which is not connected with your other ASU Write ID, so you can make that password whatever you want. Now, we'll come logging into the main Adobe Connect page, and here we can create a new meeting. We get to give it a title. I'll call this Adobe Connect Training. Then we can make a custom URL and allow that URL to be used on an ongoing basis to come back to this particular room. We don't need to specify a summary that only comes up on the login page if you want that. We also don't need to specify a time and date because we don't use the Adobe Connect calendar for our systems. It's available but we don't use it so we don't need it. Important choice here is under Access you need to select anyone who has the URL for the meeting can enter the room. That will allow your students and other people coming to your session to enter without having to be admitted by you individually each time. An optional passcode could be set where you could check and put in special code that people need to know. For the most part we aren't going to be using that. We also do not have integrated telephony with our Adobe Connect system so we don't need to include any of that. Next we can click on Next and we can add other people to the room to be hosts. In general, you creating it in your account will be the main and only host. If you wanted to add someone else, you could. You can search for another name. It'll pull up other related names that pop up. I'll select this one. Then you click Add. At that point, if you want to make this other person also a host, able to log in with their host account and join it, you would click Permissions, promote that person to host, so when that person comes in, they too will be a host. You can click Next again. We have the option to use this to create and use invitations that would be created in your email account. We won't do that now, we will just click Finish. And so now, we've got this information, it's called Adobe Connect Training, this is the URL we created, AC Training, and now we can enter the room. Now it opens up in your Adobe Connect add-in if you've got that installed, and you see you've got, by default, three layouts which are visible to you, the host. By default there's the sharing layout that has the main share pod, a webcam video pod, the attendee list, and a chat window. The next, by default, is the discussion layout, <coughs> which has a larger video pod, a discussion notes pod, the same chat window as in the original layout, and a poll, and the listing of attendees. The third layout is the collaboration layout, which comes up with a whiteboard, a file share pod, and the same chat pod and a different note pod that can be displayed and added to and that same original video pod. If we go back to the sharing pod we would be able to load a document. Normally you're going to be sharing a PowerPoint presentation or something that you've got on your computer so you would click share document and you can then browse your computer then navigate to the file you want to upload on your computer, be it Windows or Mac, use your file process to locate that, select and open. It will upload the PowerPoint and convert it to the format that can be served up by Adobe Connect. That may take a minute or two, so you'll want to have this done before your session begins. Now, here I've uploaded this PowerPoint 
and in fact this is a PowerPoint that I saved as a PPT. It shows the name of the file up in the upper left hand corner of the toolbar and you can proceed through the file just by clicking on the arrow in the lower left hand corner. A uh, couple of pieces of information I've shared with you here is to be uh, aware that you must, it said better to upload the presentations to Adobe Connect because it converts them to a version that can be shared easily from the server. And if there are font and layout issues, it can sometimes be better with a PPT rather than a PPTX. Adobe Connect can also upload graphic files like JPEG and PNGs into the same share pod that we just uploaded this video, this PP, PPT to. You can also upload an MP4 or an FLV, actually also an audio file, that can then be shared and controlled from here within the share pod. Also, be aware that you don't want to use a PowerPoint that has an audio or video clip embedded because that media will not be displayed in the Adobe Connect session. Media files must be uploaded and played as separate and shared documents. Here, by the way, I'm going to turn on the pointer up the, here where I can now click and with my mouse and bring this green arrow to draw attention to a certain item. Uh, also, if you want to be sharing a YouTube video, you have to find a way to convert that uh, and upload it to the Adobe Connect server because the audio playing on the presenter's computer is not going to be captured by the microphone. It is not shared into the Adobe Connect session. Also, in general, if you have a large session where you have many participants, you want them to be using the chat pod to submit questions or comments unless you've got a class where you'll be working with students on a repeated basis it is not worth the time to get many individuals enabled with the microphone or camera to be back and forth within the session each time you are going to be doing a session where you are talking you want to run the audio setup wizard found on the meeting menu right up here because that is important for the microphone and all to be found and configured to run and you run that by coming here to the audio setup wizard going next you get to play a sound which you hear and then you get to choose the microphone which may be the default and then click next to record and you generally have to have flash allow the hardware to be accessed and now you are recording you'll want to be speaking for at least 10 seconds so that the system can find a good level for your audio then stop play the recording back so you can and now you are recording you'll want to be speaking for at least 10 seconds so that the system can find a and then move on to the end of the audio setup wizard and you would be generally ready to click on your microphone icon so now your mic is connected to the audio Adobe Connect room and they can hear you you'll see the mic icon activate activating over here and you can carry on going to the last slide there is more information about other items related to this process and one last thing when you start your camera you need to you're in preview mode to begin with and you then click start sharing and it will show your camera in the Adobe Connect room where you can then share your picture and audio with the students in the room at the end of the meeting you're ready to click meeting and exit Adobe Connect